Hello, everyone. <laughs> I didn't know my camera was running there. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just one of my daily tasks, <laughs> making my bed. <laughs> you know, this is one of those tasks that you really can't do if you're feeling down and you're feeling like you're in the hole and you're in that darkness because of the wheelchair, uh, because of where you've ended up, and you know, you don't see the future, you don't see anything, just moment per moment. And that's something I wanted to talk about, wheelchair users that are in that space. Um, I don't know if you hear any hissing in the background, hopefully not. It's the air conditioner, <laughs> keep me cool. Um, but, you know, some wheelchair users can get there, and that's where I want to catch you, because it's, it's not, it's, it's where you're at. It's where you're at, and I want to respect that. Some people don't, and they just keep on, you know, pushing you around and bopping you in the shoulder and telling you it's going to be okay. And it will be okay, but... But <laughs> there's some homework you have to do, um, truly. You know, and I realize it can be angry. You know, what if I hadn't done that bungee jump? What if I had turned the corner sooner and that truck wouldn't have hit me? What if, you know, and then there's the, all the what ifs or I was to blame or I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done this. And now I'm in this wheelchair. You know, I, I get it. A few times I was in that spot. And, and it's not easy. Really is it. But here's a few things you can do. You can start by doing small things, like making your bed. <laughs> A lot of times when we're in that space, we, we don't do anything. We don't want to do anything. And you can do small things, making your bed. Another day, you can do the dishes. You know, trying to do things that are small but necessary. You don't have to do everything. You know, you can do the dishes or have breakfast and then do the dishes and then go back to your recliner or go back to the couch. But you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. Allowing the friends to come over because sometimes they're inviting, they're inviting themselves and you say, no, 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 I'm busy. I'm <laughs> busy doing what my friend. I have a friend who keeps on inviting herself. <laughs> so, so, you know, I'm waiting for her to, um, I'm waiting for her to text me um, so that, you know, we can come to an agreement on where she wants, where she wants to go. <laughs> so, and, and I get it, it's hard. And sometimes there are circumstances in which you can't do it alone. You, you will not be able to do it alone to get out of that darkness. So I'm strongly recommending that you seek a um, therapist, that you call or you text someone. Uh, you know, there are different programs. You can do it online now, so you don't have to go out. Uh, but to seek a therapist is, is really important. And, and look for it, online counseling. Online counseling. I do all my counseling online. <laughs> I used to go to the office once in a while, but, but her lease is up at the office, so she's, she's in the process of retiring. So, but I do all my counseling now online because that office is closing, and she knows how hard it is for me to, to get from point A to point B due to transportation but we've agreed online, so so I don't. It's 
it's good, you know, and I go to counseling because, you know, I have a lot of other conditions that, you know, it, it emotionally it's hard. So mine is due to, you know, illness, but yours could be from an accident, an incident. So mine is not. But still, we could go through the same emotions emotionally, and, and, and that is hard. Can I, can I say snap your fingers three times and it'll be over? No. <laughs> There's a little bit of work that needs to happen. And you just saw me over there doing my, my bed. <laughs> I went, oops, the camera's on. <laughs> so, so, you know, and it's okay. I have emotionally, I think for the most part I'm okay. And I go out and do activities and, and stuff. Sometimes I just don't want to um, due to pain or whatever's going on. But, but I work at it. I work at it, one, one little piece at a time. Uh, and sometimes I can do several pieces in one day. But it is about just trying one piece, one piece a day, you know, connecting with others. And that's really important because we isolate. Uh, we tend to isolate. I'm not going out. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do the other. I'll go grocery shopping at 3 in the morning where nobody's there. <laughs> You're going to have a whole lot better opportunities going during the day to grocery shop because there's going to be people around to help you if you can't reach something. <laughs> so I always go during the day, and if I can't reach something, you know, people will see me, you know, looking up there like a sad puppy. And they'll reach for me. <laughs> so <laughs> you can't do that at 3 in the morning because there's nobody there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so truly, I get it. You're, you're sad. You're depressed. You're angry. And you got to be careful with the anger because you don't want to lash out at the wrong people. You know, family is, is there for you. And... Um, they want to support you and, and give all they have to, to make things better. And sometimes you might request maybe, let's not do that tomorrow. You know, let's do it Saturday or something. And that's okay, too, to get a break and do what you want to do at home. Um, <laughs> but try not to yell at the wrong people. Um, yell at the wall. <laughs> so... It's it, you got to find a way to uh, process your anger. You got to you got to get to a place where you can process your darkness, your depression, your sadness. So, and that would be with a counselor, and not to lash out at the people you love. So, I'm just saying that so that you can think about it and do your small tasks for today. And then think about how or where you want to seek out a counselor and um, start to get things turned around. Uh, think about things you want to do at home that keeps you busy, you know, that will pull you out of that dark space. And don't be angry at the wheelchair either because the wheelchair, you're, you're blessed to have it. And it's helping you get from point A to point B. Because otherwise, you'd be dragging yourself on the floor from point A to point B. <laughs> and nobody wants to see that either. So the, the wheelchair is a gift. It's helping you. And um, that's the one thing. I don't want you to be angry at the wheelchair or at yourself. You know, this was an incident. This was an illness that came on. And, and you just got to work at it. So I'll wait, and people will wait. You will wait, but reach out. Reach out, get that counselor, because that counselor is going to keep things in confidence. It's going to keep things in private, because if you start confiding in a friend or the neighbor, 
they might slip, because they have no obligation to keep this in confidence, so they might slip and tell somebody else. That's what I'm telling you now, that receiving some insights from friends and neighbors, some light insight, but when it comes to the deeper things that you want to talk about, seek out a counselor because they're obligated to keep it private. So just saying. <laughs>